excited to be here. So I'm Alex, I'm the founder of PlaceMeter, and I will show you how we index uh, human activity in the physical world using computer vision and very simple, inexpensive sensors, uh, and of course, our computer vision algorithms. I'll show you why that matters and how this is already helping uh, businesses and people and changing some lives. So that's the big picture, right? Uh, you probably know that, right? In the, by 2050, 3.5 billion people are gonna be added to the world population, almost all of them in cities, which means that cities' population will just double in the next 35 years. And most cities are not ready for that. So um, if you don't take action, this is what's gonna happen, right? So we have to change the way we use cities. We have to be data-driven and smart about that. So <clears throat> this is what the $1.5 trillion smart city market is about. Um, smart retail, smart transportation, smart building, smart you name it. It's all about optimizing the way people use these amenities. <clears throat> but to optimize, you need to measure first. You need to quantify. Um, so there's different approaches to that. Um, you know, you can imagine uh, physical sensors. There's lots of physical sensors out there. They're great. They do the job, but they're single task. So when you want to do something new, you need to install a new sensor. Satellites we just saw are very powerful. They're amazing to uh, analyze things at a large scale, but you, they can't be stationary and high resolution. Um, then there's also cell phones, right? You can locate cell phones uh, and people who hold them. Um, that uh, scales pretty well, but it's not that accurate. You don't know exactly how people interact, where they go, how fat they go, etc. Plus, it has some privacy issues. Not exactly that, but you get my point. So at PlaceMeter, me and the crew, we really uh, convinced that this is the solution. Unexpensive video sensors that already blanket our cities, and if needed, we can easily install new ones, right? So um, by running computer vision algorithms on that, we can extract everything we need. Up. Oh, there we go. So we can extract everything we need. We can count people. We can see where they go. We can see how they interact with each other. We have a statistical camera calibration algorithm where we can infer and estimate dimension and speed. So we can count how many people come in and out of these places. We can make predictions based on weather and calendar data. We can do everything we need to quantify activity in the physical world. So at PlaceMeter, we're all about scaling right? Because we need scale. We need that data everywhere. So we don't process these high resolution videos I just showed you for demo. We process tiny video one like this one. And we extract the same data from them. And it's not easy, but that's our challenge. Uh, so we do that because then we can process a lot of videos either on our back end or on the edge of the network. And we're actually going to release an embedded sensor that's inexpensive, always on, carries a little bit of computation power and a little camera. We're gonna release that uh, in June to, uh, to ease the deployment of our technology. So I'm sparing you our sales pitch, but up, everything is, uh, is uh, including an amazing product that's super easy to use and very seamless. And having things that are automatic to set up and don't require any expertise is extremely important, again, for scaling. So what do people do with our data? We have plenty of applications, just like with satellite imaging, there's plenty of people need that data. And we talk to hedge funds also. Um, so transportation, urban planning, all these guys. I don't have time to go over all of them, but I wanted to show you one that's interesting. Retail, uh, physical retail, is a world where co-occurrence and causality are often mixed. Right? There's more people in my store. You know, how much of that is due to marketing efforts? How much is due to my new window? And how much is due just to more traffic in the neighborhood? Well, we helped them figure that out. Uh, we also recently helped a customer I will not name um, select a new location not far from here uh, in Union Square. They were considering two places, and they did a little analysis of foot traffic. One place had more foot traffic in yellow. Um, it was a lot more expensive, of course. Uh, and the other place had fewer traffic, so they were about to go with the first one, but then they looked at the details. The extra foot traffic was mostly at commuting time and mostly people walking pretty fast. So, you know, people commuting, looking at their cell phone, angry and in a rush, that doesn't really matter. You know, they, they're not potential buyers. So they took the other location and will get more bangs for their rent, for their rent box. Um, as a detail, it's interesting that they noticed that at night, uh, there's a little peak in conversion rate 
that they call the uh, the boozy late night candy crush. So you know, they're probably going to package something for drunk people at night. Um, so there's plenty of other applications. I won't go over all of them. I just want to you know highlight the fact that when I started computer vision, you know, images took about 30 minutes to load and hours to process. This was the uh, era of the expert computer vision. Today is the era of the point and shoot computer vision analytics. In uh, PlaceMeter's platform, you just submit a video feed, click where you want to measure, and get the video, uh, get the data. So it's extremely scalable, and this is really what's going to change the way we do business and the way we use our cities. Thank you.